Hey everyone. Now I'm setting up this room again, and one of the things I wanna do is use a better camera for these types of videos, which I'm gonna get back into making some more technical ones again, and also use a camera for the uh, online meetings that you have. So I wanted to use a better camera than the, the webcam. So I've got a webcam here, as you've all probably seen. Uh, but what I wanted to do was use a fancy camera. So I went and got this Nikon, Nikon, Nikon. We say Nikon in Australia, but I say Nikon because I watch too much hackers. But anyway, I got this Nikon, Nikon Z30 because apparently it does it uh, pretty well. But one of the things it requires is a utility to install which only comes with Windows or Mac. So I'll show you what that's about. So over here, you can see it's got this webcam utility which lets you use it as a webcam. But of course, it's only got Windows and Mac and this is of course Linux, so that's not much help to me. But what's that about? Well, basically when you plug a video capture device in like a webcam or even one of these other things, like I've got a USB little RCA video input here for analog, which I've used before. And I've also got this uh, HDMI capture card, or card adapter to USB. And when you plug them in, it comes up as a UVC device, a USB video class. I'll just show you that on the console. So I'll start with this analog one. When I plug it in, you'll see a whole bunch of crap come on the screen. I'll just show you what that says. So I'll just stop that, but you can see it says found UVC device. There it is, just calling itself AV to USB 2. And what you'll notice somewhere down here is it says not an MTP device. Now I'll come back to that later. Now if you use something like Zoom and you wanna have a video source, the camera to choose from, I've now got this AV to USB 2. Now I've got no video input, so that's why there's nothing on the screen. And I'll take this out. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll plug, the, uh, plug the webcam in, just because we all know what a webcam is. So plug that webcam in, and you'll see similar stuff come up here. There it is somewhere, so product is that. You'll see it's a UV, uh, UVC device, again, not an MTP device. And what I've got over here is the webcam. As you can see, of course, you can select that as your camera in Zoom or whatever. And the last one I'm just gonna do since I'm here is the HDMI, HDMI one. Basically, it says the same kind of thing, not an, not an uh, MTP device. This one at least gives you a, some color bars while it's got no video input. But you get the idea, it automatically comes up when they're a UVC device. Now I'm no PhD, but I can do a little bit of research. So I looked into what that MTP was, and you can see over here, well UV, the UVC one was pretty simple, I already knew what that was, but there's a link there if you want to see it. But MTP is Media Transfer Protocol, and it goes into the protocol of you know, what it's for. And what I anticipate this utility to be is something that sets that up so it can be used as a video device. So that's why I would need that driver-ish kind of thing. But what I found is this Japanese guy has made a program, as you can see, Nikon, Nikon, to USB webcam. And how that seems to work, he's got his little diagram there, is the camera goes in and it talks to it with, by MTP. And what it does then is sets up a web socket. So like a web browser would look at it and then you can use OBS to get to that web socket and then set it as a dummy camera and use it. And then it's controlled via a web page. So I downloaded this after I checked that it works for the Z30 and apparently it does. It's got the ticks and it says, yes, it does high res. So I went and did the Linux version. So just go to Linux. I did that one there. I just did this last night to make sure I could actually compile it before I went out and bought a camera. So I compile it, I ran it, and it's there. He wanted you to build it yourself. He said that's the best way to do it. So there it is there, and I can just run that now. So here, if I do sudo MTP LV cap, run that, you'll see it said fail to detect MTP devices. Now that's because I haven't got anything plugged in. So what I'm gonna do is unwrap this box and plug it in and hope for the best. Right, so I'll just rip into this thing. And you can see, like I had a DSLR there that I just used the HDMI output of but um, I want to do it a bit more direct than using those adapters. So anyway, I'll dig this out. Okay, and I've got a battery in there and I'll just plug it in and turn it on. I just set the time before because that came up, but um, I didn't bore you with that. So it's come up here. You see the device name, blah, blah, blah. Now it says it was not an MTP device, but I wonder if that's something else. So I'll go back to that program and run it this time. And now it says some different stuff. So it's got something which is better than nothing so now if i go back to what he says to connect to it where is it local host that to get the actual resolution so let me try that oh there it is okay actual resolution is shithouse and i want it better than that otherwise i'm going to be upset 
Okay, now he's got one here saying max resolution. Let's see what happens. So I'll try that again. Max resolution. Now, let me refresh this. Oh, it's got 1024 by 680. That's fucking ass piss. So let's have a look at the snapshot, see if anything comes in. Okay, there's a snapshot of the window. Piss poor resolution though. Okay, now I've just reinstalled OBS through Snap because the browser option wasn't available as a source. But now it is, so browser. So I'll just call this, uh, okay, the dodgy resolution I've got is 1024 by 680. So 1024 by 680. Let's just see how that goes. Okay, there it is. All right, set this up vertical from my monitor next to it. But let me just muck around with this for a minute. Right, so like everything in this fucking IT world, it's a pain in the ass. And we don't do ass pain around here. So what I'm gonna do is just muck around with this offline and if I can figure it out, I'll get back to you. And if I don't, this video won't get published. I'll see you soon, maybe. Just out of interest, you can see the WebSocket that it started here. It's pretty simple, just the WebSocket within local host. That's it. Okay, now I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna to have to end this video even though I haven't been successful here, just to show you what I'm doing. So I've got three problems and a bit jank one. The first problem is if I use OBS that's via the standard installer on Debian, I can send the output to a dummy loopback device and use it in programs like Zoom, but I can't use the browser as a source. Now if I use the snap version of OBS, it has the browser as a source, but I can't send it to the loopback adapter. And the third problem is the, the resolution of the camera is a lot lower than I thought. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do with that. I'll just show you what should have happened. Now let's have a go. Fucking hell, it's there. Okay, evidently I just had to restart Zoom. So this video will get published anyway. So there it is. I'm using the camera as a webcam. So my only problem now is the resolution, which I'm gonna have to mess around with. But other than that, it works fine. That's how you do it. So a bit of packet capture and a bit of frustration, but we get there. So I needed this ready for tomorrow for something. Anyway, I got there. That'll do it for now. Have fun with this, and thanks to the Japanese guy who made that program. It's top work, except for the resolution. So I've got the camera sitting over there. I'm gonna have some lights, but for now, it's just got a USB cable in for the power, and the HDMI goes to one of the HDMI adapters here, and then you can use it in, in programs there, like um, Zoom in this case. Okay, so at least I learned a few things. So I've learned about MTP and how that program set up a WebSocket to get images of video from the camera. But the camera still has some advantages in getting it because it doesn't shut off after 20 minutes like the old um, DSLR does. And it can also power from the USB port, so that's good. So that's how I'm gonna do things from now on. So that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy. In fairness, it's hard to concentrate when I can smell the pork roasting. <laughs>